Pink represents a special love and kindness you have for your mother, a special kind of love that you will cherish for a lifetime. This is a beautiful pink dahlia that was created by using spoon to swipe the outer petals. This is a tribute to my friend Laurie Houston Art who recently lost her mother and I want to send a shout out to you Laurie. Love you, stay strong and I do hope that this special flower will mean something to you. Guys, check out today's creation video. You're gonna love it. Hello everyone, this is your girl Camille. I want to say welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be working on a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas and I want to create a beautiful pink dahlia. So I'm just using four shades of pink hair, cherry blossom pink, fruity tutti, um, metallic rose gold and deep magenta. Guys, these colors worked beautifully together. I know it's a challenge working on this big canvas, creating, you know, um, using the spoon to swipe your floor. Usually I just use a smaller canvas, maybe like a 10 inch round or, you know, maybe up to like a 16 inch round. <clears throat> but I just wanted to go big. I've been, I have a lot of big canvases. I have a lot of 20 by 20 inch. This size is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And I just wanted to create, you know, a big flower. Recently, my friend, really good friend, every Tuesday night we do a premiere together, Laurie Houston Art. She reached out to us on Facebook and tell us that um, you know, she, she recently lost her mom suddenly. And so this is actually a tribute for my friend Laurie from Laurie Houston Art. She's an amazing artist and you know, we all work so hard here on YouTube and I know she's probably taking the time out now to grieve the loss of her mom and it's just a sad time but at the same time i know that her mom is resting and you know i know she had a, a great love for her mother and this is why i want to use pink because pink it shows so much love and kindness you know and when we can use this color in our art um it's not just just feminine but it really softens our it really brings out the emotion in us and it really uh shows a a, a sense of gratitude and a sense of uh, kindness and love did I say love yes I did but you know that's what it is and you guys you know me I love my flowers and I do love to you know show you what it represents and what it means you know to us as artists when we do use a color and because this is a fluid art you know it's really all about the colors guys you know and how these colors really works together and what they really represent and we just want to show you that you know even though we're, we're an artist we don't really use a lot of words we use colors and we use colors to speak our emotion and pink is one of my favorite colors and yeah I'm just amazed when you can really pour colors on canvas and create something magnificent <clears throat> So I just want to reach out to my friend Laurie and I do hope that um, she's doing okay and, you know, take her time and, uh, you know, reflect on the memories of her mom. And that's what it, it's all about. You know, when someone comes into our lives and we lose them at the end of the day, guys, we have to hold on to those beautiful memories. All right. So Laurie, I do love you and I do hope that, uh, you know, you realize that your mom is resting and just cherish those memories okay for my viewers guys if you haven't haven't seen any of my dahlia creations um just go back and watch my first dahlia which is my white dahlia which i you know it was an experiment and i do love the way it turned out and so i share with you my viewers here on youtube go back and watch it um, uh, you know it's more in depth more it's a more in depth tutorial also my purple dahlia you guys can go back and watch it it's more in depth all right so today I just want to talk a little bit about you know um, how I really fell in love with the spoon swipe dahlia and why it really amazed me guys honestly when I swipe these um, these colors out with the spoon 
and to see the beautiful um, petals, how it form when you swipe it out. I was like, oh my gosh, this is just amazing. You know, each petal swiping it out with a spoon comes up beautifully and I'm like, wow. So I had to share this with you. Other artists do use a spoon to swipe, but they swipe differently. I swipe outwards. So if you do see anyone doing this form of technique, you know, um, it's just a little thing that I came up with and I wanted to share with you. I do love how, you know, the petals form from each swipe. So just look at this guys, you know, and yep, of course remember that the way you pour the colors, the way you layer the colors is very important. I do layer the, the darker color last because the swipe over these um, softer shades of pink and give it a little bit more depth and uh, you know make it a, a bit deeper in color so the magenta swiping over those softer shades of pink create a beautiful you know 3d effect giving it some shading at you know at the end of the day that's what you really want and then the metallic in this it's just amazing it's at the end of the video you will see where the metallics sort of spread a bit more because that's how metallics are and it's just amazing i do love it so do, guys do stick around watch this video all the way to the end give this video a thumbs up if you do love it and of course if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell hit all guys remember to hit all so that you're notified each time i post a new video i'm happy that you guys are here with me today and you know i will be showing you the close-up of the wet result and the dried results so don't you go away and if you do want to give this technique a try remember to always wipe your spoon after each swipe you need to have a clean spoon to swipe those beautiful petals as you can see i'm just wiping it there on the napkin all right so do give it a try guys uh, reach out to me on Facebook, tag me, let me see your beautiful result. I know I haven't done one of these in a while. I've been doing various different techniques, uh, the Dutch pour, some Dutch pour flowers. And this is what the fluid art is all about. There's just various techniques that you can use to create something that you love in nature. You know, I love flowers. I love nature on a whole. I just love, you know, the beautiful colors that nature um, present to us every day and that's where I, I get my inspiration from so I love my colors guys I'm really happy you know I get emotional <laughs> when I'm talking so please bear with me I am so happy that you guys you know find my channel and really find it um, inspirational and you know I'm, I want to share with you and remember that art is therapy and this is one of the reasons why I do get up every day try and think of different ideas what I can do to you know share with my viewers because we don't know what you're going through and you know it's a tough world that we're living in but it's a beautiful world it's more beautiful okay and if you just get up every day and think positive and you know think about stuff that you're grateful for you will you know you'll be okay and you will make it through so guys, do enjoy the video and uh, do have fun if you do decide to give this technique a try. And I will see you for the close-up of the wet result and the dried result. So don't you go away. Thank you.
so here it is a close-up of the wet result it's beautiful I am so in love I just love it it's just a simple little dahlia flower not a lot of rose here with petals but you know I just want to make it really quick and simple and look at that deep magenta creating some beautiful um, shading in between love it really do love this one guys um, let me know how it's make you feel leave me a comment in the comment section below and of course the dread result is coming up and here it is all dried guys it's beautiful what do you think let me know in the comment section below uh, pink is such a soft beautiful color and you know it's not only just feminine it's just a way of showing kindness and love and gratitude towards a someone in your life that you know you're really grateful for Laurie Houston I do hope that you know you're doing okay and um, you know for everyone else guys thank you so much for sticking around all the way till the end and i will see you next time on camila moy art bye